Hey folks, I wanted to do a quick review before I did my thought for today. And what's going to happen is I'm going to do this review and then I will put the thought for today after it so you can see how it all works. Short story is this. During the thought for today, I use index cards. I use index cards. And I bought a major brand of the index cards and I write on them, you can see with Sharpie. And it was bleeding through. And it's not that people saw the other side, but sometimes I want to write stuff on the back of the index cards, or I had sometimes where it bled through and it actually started marking the card underneath. So I wanted to try some better cards. And on Amazon, mm -hmm. I got 100 super thick, three by five, 17 point blank, heavyweight index cards. They can be used as note cards, postcards, flashcards. And it's from a company called Nordstrom Dumati. Nordstrom Dumati. And they came, you can tell, this is an ordinary guy. It's not some huge company out there. An ordinary guy, this is how they came. See the nice bubble wrap? More in there. And, and mm. let's see, Chris, Chris, I really like your note. And it says, I'm the original creator of the products you just purchased. If anything is wrong, let me know and I'll make it right. If you like my products, please leave a review for them. I'm doing that right now, Chris. Other sellers email and annoy their customers asking for reviews. I can confirm that. I have and never will. Thank you so much. Well, Chris, thank you. These are awesome cards. You guys can see how thick they are. Can you see how thick they are? I don't know if that's gonna work out very well. See, the Sony can't really figure out how to, to do that. But these are really thick cards and I am looking forward to seeing them. As you guys can see here, let me show you. This, this is, let me go with one that I don't have writing on the back. Do I have any that I don't have right here? We go. So you can see that on the front, I have writing in Sharpie. And how about on the back? When I hold this up, does anything bleed through? Not at all. These are awesome. So either way, I'm going to give you uh, five stars, Chris. Really appreciate it. Uh, Nord Nordstrom. Dumati, am I saying it right, Chris? Um, really appreciate it. And then, folks, you can stand if you want to see how it works with a thought for today. I'm going to record that after uh, afterward. So um, you can stop now if you want to. You can keep watching if you want to. I'll see you in just a moment if you watch the thought for today. Hey, everybody, are you ready for the thought for today? Are you ready? He shook his head yes. He shook his head yes. Do you know who Nikki Six is? He shook his head no. Nikki Six is a founder, a major songwriter, and the bassist for Motley Crue, and he also has a group called 6AM. Nikki Six had a big problem. Do you know what it was? He was a heroin addict, and he hit a point in his life where heroin was going to take him out if something didn't change. And he wrote, well, I should say, he came up with an album after he got through it, called the Heroin Diaries soundtrack. And in that, it has this awesome song that I wish you all would listen to on repeat called Life is Beautiful. Life is Beautiful. And you know, it can seem otherwise. If you use a lot of social media, you listen to that angry things like films and music and TV and news, and you allow yourself to be surrounded by four walls, life can seem anything but beautiful. And you may have some things, horrible things that are happening to you. But I'm telling you right now, don't let those things define your attitudes. Whether you believe in evolution or creation, we are so often in modern society disconnected from the things that we either as a species grew in or as created beings were meant for. We can really lose track of things and I honestly believe that life is beautiful. Think of the smile of a baby or the kindness of a stranger or other kind of neat things, serendipitous things that can happen sometimes. And sometimes you really don't realize what you've got until you're on the edge of complete loss. And he had an interesting line. Here's, here's some intro well, lines, I guess. I was waiting for my hearse. What came next was much worse. So something horrible happened. It took a funeral to make me feel alive. 
By the way, there are other ironic sayings, things that don't necessarily make sense unless you ponder them. Listen. Listen to that album. Listen also, by the way, because you aren't perfect. You will make mistakes. And there's this other, well, there are a lot of great songs on it, but there's this other great song called Accidents Can Happen. And that's another song that I wish you would listen to over and over and over because truly life is beautiful and I would argue you are beautiful you may not feel it you may need to change but you are beautiful you can change if you need it there is beauty in you you just need to show it and the thought for today before I make a final comment the thought for today is just that. Life is beautiful. Now this may find you in really troubled times. And I don't think it hurts to say, if you're watching this and you really feel an edge like you can't take it anymore, just remember, there are people I care for. You can try to reach out to me, but I'm not a professional. And if you need professional help, get professional help. But if you really need help, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 800-273-8255. That's 800-273-8255. Life is beautiful. You are beautiful. I love you. I'll see you again tomorrow.